this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn how to pass the data from our routes into our components by using standalone approach. Here, data means it's a data object which is given by our route configuration. I have explained about the same pattern in our modular approach. In this video, we will cover only on the standalone approach. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, if you go into our app routing, and inside this routing we have one load children that is nothing but our products and this products has a module called as products routes and inside this we have two paths one is path with an empty and we have one more route module also now the case is how we can pass the data from our routing so here we can pass a data object and inside this I can pass something called as name and this is something like products I can pass something like products and this name can be accessed by any of its child that means if I go to product routes I have two children one is products component and one is another module so let me go into products component inside this products component I can just use a service called as activated route and inside this I can access activated route which is imported from angular and we can use console.log of this dot activated route dot data dot snapshot or just you can use snapshot dot data and save this if you go into the products you can see the name as products that is how we can pass the data from our module and not only this one even the sub modules that means even if you go into the product routes you have a component called as product component let me go into the product component and here let me console console dot log of this dot activated route dot or just you can use snapshot dot data and this can also access the value which is passed from the root routing for example here I have passed name to the products and even if I go to slash one two three then I can access that products so that is how you can access even in the subchilds or nested routes and let me clear this clear this and what I'm trying to do is this is about the products so it is coming from the parent if I want to pass one more parameter example data and here I want to pass a name or just go with the sub child and that sub child should have a name called as product so I want to pass a product as subchild so now this route that means products component can access only the name which is passed from its parent that is name as products but this routes that means a product component have the access for two one is subchild and one is products with a name property let me go here and you can see the name and the subchild both properties are accessible inside our product which is a subchild and now if I go to products alone I'll get only the name if I go back you got only the name property for example if I want to override that same property in our routes for example I want to override here name as product and save this so we are passing products that will be overridden here by product why because this data object will be merged with this data object if I go here and just click on something just you can see here name as product and subchild as product it's not products it is product the overridden value for example if I go into products routes and from there product routes and here if I write some data object with some new properties for example component name as product component and I'm just using a name which is product at component level so now this will contain one name property one component name property and it will also contains a sub child that will be sub child and also it has a name that will be overridden with this product at the component level and this name again will be overridden by your component that is app routing at last you will be having the latest one that is nothing but your name so if I go here you have three properties component name which is at the component level and the name which is at the component level sub child which is coming from the parent of this product and even it is overriding the name property which is passed from the root component 
So that is how you can use your data object in your standalone components. In the upcoming videos, we will see how to pass a non-static data. That means if you want to have a dynamic data and want to pass such type of data, then how to pass it and how to use in the modular and as well as standalone approach. Hope you like my explanation. If you like my video, like, share, subscribe to my channel for more updates. Signing off. Thank you.